Hello and welcome to Simply Fairies Paper Crafts. My name is Kim Fee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Today I want to share with you a card I made um, quite a while back but I forgot to do a video of it. Um, so I've been asked to uh, recreate it. It's a bay window card and it opens up and sits like that. Just like a bay a bay window basically so it's quite a fun a fun fold using the fun way to go stamp set so we're going to use all three of the goats so i have um pre cut and colored three of the goats just to save time for the video basically um so i will color two the two inside ones so that you can see how I colour them um, with the stamping blends. I have pre-cut all the bits and pieces that we need. So to start with we need a half a sheet of A4 or your letter size in the US. I will put some I will do a letter size, US letter size one, and put the measurements in the description below. And I'll do a new blog post for this card so that um, it, you can you can go on there and have a little look as well. And then we will need a piece for inside. Um, so this piece is 10 centimetres by 13.5 centimetres, and that just sits there inside there and then we'll need a piece of nine sorry ten by eleven point five that will be for the front panels um, and we'll do everything that we need to do and then we're gonna cut those panels up so let's put these to one side and we'll get started with our scoring So as I say, an A4 piece of cardstock I put in and cut at ten and a half. Then I scored at one centimetre. Let's move those over there. And then I took along to five and scored at five centimetres. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let's bring that down a little bit more. So let's start again. So we've gone one and then we took it over to five, scored at five, took it to 10 centimeters, scored at 10, took it to 14 centimeters, scored at 14, and then 14.8, which is the normal um, scoring for Cutting, uh, scoring for folding and scoring in half your card blank for a general card blank. So those are those. Let's have a look now. One, two. I don't. Um, although I've got my score lines here and I've only used my bone folder to sharpen that side, I'm not going to be sharpening the rest because I want to lay the bits and pieces on there. So I'm going to put that to one side now. And what we'll do is we'll do our panels. And then we'll bring in our paper. So I just want to make sure that I've got the panels the right way. Yep. Okay. So this is the DSP for the Bright selection. So this is Granny Apple Green. And I'm just going to tear it and pull it towards me and going up and down uh, basically trying to do a faux heel on the meadow a bit awkward <laughs> up and down up and down up and down up and down We'll do that one will go inside and then we'll do this side so 
There's, you don't even have to colour your grass, really. Just put that there. So if you want to titivate it, as we call it, pull in little bits more off if you're unhappy with how that was. And then we'll just lay it on there. So I'm going to use the Tombow Glue. Just make sure that goes over there like that. Let's turn it over and just trim those bits off there. Should be dry now. I'm going to bring back in my paper trimmer and we're just going to cut sections. So I want two lots of 3.5 centimeters and one 4.5. So I'm just going to go 3.5. Pull that to one side. I'm going to take it in again. I'm going to go to 4.5. And this one, hopefully, will be 3.5. Yep. 3.5. Just going to trim that a little bit more. Just going to see the little green bit there. That's it. Okay, so straight away I'm going to put it on my card blank so that then they're out of the way. And this is how I cut them. So I just want to, oh sorry about that, it's throwing that. Um, leave a small border top, bottom and either side in the scored pieces, if you can see that, and the scored pieces. area doing my videos at the moment because I ordered a chair um, that had wheels on so that when I sat down I didn't scrape my chair along the floor and then it it grate on your ears when I'm doing these videos and I ordered a grey and a cream one arrived and, and that's not good when you've got a black cat that molts lots of hairs so that's going to have to go back. And so I decided that I will get the little sideboard and stand at the sideboard and do these for you. So that's them done. Now, the balloons are coming from the monogram messages. Um, this little balloon here, I do love this set, but it's not carried over, unfortunately. The goats have, pleased to say, but this hasn't, which is a shame, really. Um, so they come from there. So I've stamped them in um, Calypso Coral. I stamped and cut three. And one um, bumblebee. I think it's bumblebee. I made this quite away. Bumblebee, yeah. So I've put um, dimensionals on the three Calypso Corals. And this one... Is going to be laying flat okay so i'll move them to one side until we've done our goats now we just want to have our inside just glue that bit there And then 
make sure that it butts up to the bottom. And if we just did this and make sure that that's there in the right place. And just trim again. And we're going to attach it to the inside so then it's out of the way when we're doing our stamping and colouring. Okay, a little bit more bigger border than I wanted. Um, oh, no it's not. I forgot to say. Oh, it's there now. Before you put this in, you will need to just glue this bit. You might have to heat gun that and move that along. So you just need to glue that one there. It's like a little hinge. And that will go like that. So before you actually put this in, that is the one one that you will have to glue down. So it's got like a book opening. Oh, never mind. I'm sure they wouldn't mind seeing that. It might make a difference, actually. So two mounting folds and then a belly fold. And that should go like that. So it's such a shame, really. There will be a gap. But it matched the front. <laughs> it matched the front. Never mind, never mind. Let's start putting our goats on before we do our inside ones, I think. So she wants to just sit there like that. So I've curled my goats with my bone folder. So they look a bit more realistic. She's gonna go about here. She's, been, she's got all excited and jumping up in the air with her balloon. So her balloon was just slightly up there. And her balloon is just slightly there. Little bit of adhesive on that. Let's go there. And that one will go there. We've kind of got the front done. So I'm just using the journal pen to do a little bow on there and then just do a little wibbly line because she's holding the string I do the same on there that she's holding hers in her mouth bring it out here out there on the balloon itself and that's it so that's our front done and now we just want to decorate inside here so first of all let's do our oops our sentiment I'm just going to pop that there. So I didn't do that very well, so I'm just going to use my pen. 
pin and go over it. It won't look too different to how it should have been. Okay, let's put that up to there. So we just want to stamp this one and this one. So when you're stamping, you need one of this, this one, three of these and one of those. Oh, I do love these goats. today. That's better. Getting used to being in a different place, I think. <laughs> so what I did for the goats, the only ones I used was the grey granite and the dark petal pink. So dark petal pink is for the nose, the ears, the little belly. Okay, so because um, I want my goats to be like a whitish colour, off whitish, greyish, greyish, whitish, I'm just going to take, let's start with the lightest one first, go round those bits there on his ears, just underneath, round his eyes. little bit of a shadow there just little flicking motions and then um, go a little bit darker Around the edges just lightly, not too much. You can see it's quite juicy, it's got a new a new blend. I use this colour quite often. And um it's my new one. I'm just gonna come back again with my light grey granite. Just kind of blend it in while it's still kind of wet. Then I'm going to bring in the dark petal pink. So I want a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here on the nose, on the cheeks. Then I'm going to bring in my blender pen which is a uh, colour lifter and I'm just going to go over and it'll blend it and lighten it up a little bit more using the bullet I use this to blend as well, even though it's a colour lifter, I think it's quite fab to blend with. So now we do it all over again on this one. Then around all the edges. Gently with your brush tip. Very light touch with the brush tip. It doesn't matter whether you use brush tip or bullet tip, it's how I think is more comfortable for you. The bullet end 
that's when I want a very thin line. Um, bring back in my grey, my light colour. I think no just go around it think little nasty bits there it's quite dark we'll try the light color the light petal pink So it is the light petal pink that you would need, not the dark one. So let's just get rid of some of that colour, lighten it up. And it will, when it dries, it will dry lighter. Come back with the light grey granite, just a little bit on the eyelids. Soften it up really. And that is all the colouring that we're going to be doing. And we just need to fussy cut because unfortunately it doesn't come with dyes. So I just go uh, close to the edge but not too close. You'd like a, I like a say you like, I like um, just a small white border because it, I think it makes it pop off the card that, or the papers that you put it on. And then just move in the card around. Rather than your scissors. You can always trim if you've done just like me. I've just done a little bit too much there. And there we go. So the links to these products that I've used today will be in the bottom by the description where you see uh, see more and you'll find all the links there. You'll find the links to my blog and my Facebook page. I do uh, a Facebook Live every Wednesday evening, UK time, GMT time at 8.30pm. It'd be lovely to see you pop along. If you um, are enjoying what I'm making, um, then please do subscribe here on the YouTube. Um, and perhaps give me a like in the comments. That would be fabulous. I always forget when I'm um, when I'm fussy cutting. I tend to sort of go close to me and forget. Hold on a minute, you're on camera and you need to you need to do it in the camera shot. So glad that I pre-cut the other three before I came on. These are so cute. You could use these for um, adult cards as well as children's cards. I think they're brilliant, especially the um, happy birthday, you old goat.
fun. Okay, let's move all of this out of the way. So this fella is um, flat down onto the card blank itself, as you can see there. And I'm just going to put her at a bit of an angle because she's going to be going up the hill to meet the others that are partying up the hill. And this one here will need to go on perhaps two dimensionals because he's going to be your stopper. So I'm just using my bone folder and my thumb um, and the heat will curl, break the fibres and curl. So just need to do that and then take them off because you're going to double them up. Because he's, as I say, he's going to be your stopper. He's just going to sit there just underneath the happy birthday because it's his birthday. And then you will need to manipulate it a little bit. But once you've done it a few times, it will stay there. So let's sharpen those edges. going to twist it in this way to sharpen it and then fold it back again just so that I don't that's it and there you go it's super simple super super simple everything's super simple when you know how oh and there goes all my stamping blends <laughs> I tried to tidy up so I can show you the both cards and I make a whole right mess with all the stamping blends everywhere. There you go. Oh, well. I don't edit my my videos. They are as is because we are only human after all. And uh, I don't do perfect, perfect. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, as I say, please do come over. Um, join me on Facebook Live on a Wednesday evening or come and subscribe to my blog so that you get to see other bits and pieces that I make that don't make it onto a video or subscribe um, down below um, to get notifications of when I do the next video. Thank you very much indeed. Take care for now. Bye.